Hey guys, John from Nothing But Cardboard. Today you got a little video on what to do if the card is damaged, a PSA, some things that you should know. So stay tuned. All right, like I said, we had a card damage that we sent off to PSA and they finally took care of it and got it back to us. Um, a little over a month ago, we're still going back and forth with them a little bit. But there's some things that you need to know to protect yourself and then what to do ahead of time when you send the cards off. Ours was a T-Law, the rookie's card, just a base card, but it pulled a PSA 10. Came back and the corner was jacked, so we're like, we can't sell it like this. You know, we need to, need to take care of it or do something. So we sent it back to them. They got it in October and the end of March. They finally finalized it all and they sent it back to us and we got it back last month. Um, they gave us $70 for the card. It came back as a PSA 7. They gave us $70 for the, the claim. So it was, you get your declared value for the card and you get the shipping, the grading fees back. The first thing I want to show you is when you put in your submission, you put in the description and the declared value. So the declared value here on my screen, you can see, is the estimated value of the card after it's graded and it comes back. So a couple of important things here to note. We all know that there's a fine line between an eight and a nine, or a nine and a 10. There's a huge value difference between a, a nine and a 10. Nine usually go for like 25, 30% of a 10, and a 10 is the most money that you can get. So the declared value that you put in here is for your insured shipping coming back and it's also if there's a claim against your card. So we do put the declared value as $40 in there to save money on shipping coming back. Well that's what they paid us. They didn't pay us whatever the current market value is of that card. So you want to make sure that you put the highest declared value in there that you think that card could pull. Maybe even the highest grade. So if you think it's going to pull an 8, maybe put the comps for a nine and put that in as your declared value just in case it gets bumped up a grade just to protect yourself just to make sure that you're going to get covered 30 40 50 dollar cards not a big deal but um, you guys that submit higher dollar cards you want to make sure that you put in the exact declared value so my first thing thoughts are it took six and a half months to get the card back and no this is not psa shirts that they wear at work but they should. Six and a half months, you make a mistake on somebody's cards, you ding it up, and you take six and a half months to get back to them. I understand the declared value. I understand you gave us our grading fees back. That all makes sense. But if, I'm, if I have a business and I'm running a business and I make a mistake, you need to make it right to the customer and you need to do it as quick as possible. That's my first um, problem is that it took that long. Second problem is two people messed up on the order. The grader messed up, and I wanna say they're doing a million cards a month with going through the system. So the graders are seeing it, they're moving it, they're humans, they make mistakes, that's fine, I understand that. But then it goes to get it encapsulated and then somebody else is supposed to, um, in QA1, look it over again and check the card to make sure that the card is graded properly based on what the card got. So you'd think they'd have to look it over pretty good to see. If you can't see a corner that's bent, it's supposed to be like that. It, it, it literally was like this when it came back. So quality control is an issue, but the customer service taking that long, it should have never happened. So those those are my big issues. We have a um, follower on our YouTube that he just reached out to us on our last video and was explaining something about a card that he had. I'll just say his name's Jeg. We won't show you our screen. He had the same issue. It took 10 months to get his card back. They gave him um, his grading fees back and $25 check for the card. But because it took so long, they gave him a $100 credit on top of it. Of course, he said he's going to use that to grade more cards. So we are a glutton for punishment. But their cards pull the most money. And, you know, we want to use them for that if you're doing investing, if it's not a PC card. So the first thing I wanted to point out is that you need to make sure you put in the proper amount to cover yourself in case something happens. Second thing you can do is, the site is glitching today so it won't let me pull up an order that we have in there that we have not, um, that hasn't been finalized yet. 
This is an order from the past. So you go to your order, you can click on, they take images as soon as the cards get there. So I'll take the stuff out of the box, they leave it in the penny sleeve and the top loader and they put it on their high res scanner and they take a picture of both sides of your card. So if you go to the website, a lot of work, extra time, you have to go back and delete them off your computer, but you would have those for your peace of mind. When we send the cards off, we know exactly what deal, what issues are with the card or, or whatnot. PSA is going to go back and look over the high res pictures and determine, okay, the card was received like this. We must have done that. Of course, if it's got a corner jacked up like that and it's in the PSA's 10 slab, then there's an issue. So your pictures are taken and they're put on your, on your um, order as soon as they are arrived there. They'll replace it later with the picture of it in the PSA slab once the grade has been um, finalized. So you can take these pictures and you can actually save them to your photos. You can do front and back of your actual card before it's graded so that you can actually see if there was a, a damage or something was wrong. So that's something you can do to protect yourself to um, just have the picture to prove what happened and what didn't happen. Another thing, the way to take care of the claim is you will go to um, services. So if you get a card and it's damaged and you don't know what to do or how to take care of it, you just go to services, go to request center, and then in request center, they'll, they have a thing here with the description of the problem and what's going on. So you'll just fill this out. The issue is card is damaged. I need it taken care of. They'll ask you to send it back. They'll give you a number, everything else, and they'll take care of it. Don't expect your card back quickly. We thought we were going to get it back in a few few weeks. It was football season. They ended up making the playoffs. His cards were selling pretty good. It wouldn't have mattered with the base card and the regular card. So, just something you guys need to know about. Make sure you put the declared value in there. Pre-graded value coming back to you is your graded um, card slab. Grade it a little bit higher just in case it gets a higher grade and it has um, worth more money. Save those pictures if you want to so that you have them for your um, peace of mind and to refer to when you get the card back. You can go back and look and see, okay, this wasn't on there, this was on there, and then clear them off. We love PSA. We use them a lot. Uh, I'm going to win this trophy with PSA here in the next couple weeks. That's another video. If you guys want to check that out, we got a series where we're doing a $1,500 challenge submitting with PSA. But PSA needs to work on their customer service. We've had issues with SGC. They took care of it immediately. It did not take this long. It took like a week's time. CSG, same thing. Well, we've used them in the past. They've reached out to us right away and did everything they could to make it right. I had a card that was had fuzz or something in it. I sent it off and I got it back within a week. That's back when they had the green labels. So PSA, just customer service. We know you're number one. You're the king of the grading. It's our resale value and um, people grading cards with you. But it should not take six and a half months to get a card back that you dinged up and still graded a seven. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, appreciate you guys. Have a good day.